If you train neural networks very often, then the chances are you may have encountered this problem at least once. If yes, then you have already experienced vanishing gradient problem. Now let's see why and how this happens. Let's say we have a neural network with two hidden layers and all uses sigmoid as an activation function. When you start training it during forward propagation, the value of a neuron will be the sum of output of each neuron from its previous layer times corresponding weight and then put the result into sigmoid. And do the same for every other units till you reach the final unit which will produce output. And this is how values of neurons get updated. Later we will take that output and compare it with original input with the help of a loss function to see how far the current predicted output is from the original one. Now, to update the weights, we have to do back propagation. So, to update this weight, first we have to calculate gradient. A gradient measures rate at which loss changes with respect to weight. If we take derivative of loss with respect to weight, we will have our gradient for this weight. So, according to chain rule of differentiation, this can be written as change in loss with respect to output times change in output with respect to input times change in input with respect to weights. So this is equals to h4 and this one is the derivative of sigmoid. And now our problem arises here. If you look at this graph, you can see that the derivative of sigmoid ranges from 0 to 0.25 which is pretty low and it can output very small value of gradient which will later multiplied by learning rate and then the whole value will subtract from current weight which will lead to a small improvement in weight. Similarly, we can calculate gradient and update weight for this and this. Now it's time to update this weight. So to do this, first we need to measure how much error has changed due to W7. Let's call it W7. And to get this, we have to measure how much error changed due to output from H4 times how much output at H4 changed due to input at H4 times how much input at H4 changed due to W7. So this change occurred due to H1. This change occurred due to activation function, which is sigmoid. So we can take derivative of sigmoid. And we can't calculate change for this directly. Instead, we can calculate change in error with respect to O times how much output at O changed due to input at O times how much input changed due to H4. This is equal to W16. And these two we have already calculated here. Now, we already know that the gradient for sigmoid was very small. And even if it give its maximum value of derivative, it would only be 0.25 which will later multiplied in the above expression which will cause even more lowest value in the form of gradient because multiplication of two smaller values is even smaller than both of them. Hence it will cause a very little weight updation at this edge and for every other edge at this layer the updated weight will be smaller than the previous one. And as you move backward for calculating gradient at this layer you'll have to consider all the changes from output to this layer and as you go start going backward the gradient will become smaller and smaller and hence you can say that the gradient start to fading or the gradient is vanishing and this is how the vanishing gradient problem occurs in a deep neural network but this is not the end of the story let's prove it experimentally load that amnist data set first Reshape each point to a vector because those are images and we are not going to make a CNN model for this experiment. Do the normalization and now get to the modeling part. Make a sequence of layers and insert first dense layer with sigmoid units and initialize weight to very small. Do the same for output layer but don't forget to use softmax instead of sigmoid. Compile the model using categorical cross entropy loss function and optimizer of your choice. Once it's done, feed the data into model and let it run for 10 epochs with a batch size of 128 and see the output. As you can see, the loss isn't improved after first epoch and now you already know why. So, three things to remember from this video. 
when a sink gradient problem occurs due to very low value of gradient which cause a very slight or negligible improvement in weights we never use sigmoid in hidden layers of neural network because they output very low gradient during back propagation this was one of the main reason why deep neural network were impossible to train in 90s or even before 2006 but do you know a gradient can explode also well that problem is called exploding gradient problem and that's the story for another video thanks for watching